safety here is that all people, tell you all people, all people, all people, even our little children, are important to God. Yes. Are you with me, Rashawn? Amen. Amen. Jesus never separated the children. Watch this, y'all. He never separated the children by skin color, or he didn't divide them by their zip code, their income, or their education. He didn't divide them by Methodist or Baptist or, or gay right, or straight. Right, right, right. He just said, let them come up unto me. Are you with me? And the times they come in my life, I don't need anybody to try to dictate to me who can and cannot get blessed. I don't need anybody to come to me and try to divide folk to say who can have and who can have not. I just need to hear Jesus say, come unto me. I know you're hurting, baby. Just come unto me. I know you're going through something, brother. Just come unto me. I know you feel alone and depressed during the holiday times. Just come unto me. I know you broke, busted, and disgusted, but come unto me. I know you feel like giving up, but come unto me. I know you feel like don't nobody care about you during the Christmas season, but come unto me anyway. There's comfort in the name of Jesus. So come unto me and forbid them not. What I learned from the scripture is the importance that guidance has on our children. Mm -hmm. Guidance for our children. Watch this, y'all. We must guide our children. Brother Gwen, don't take advantage of our children. Mm -hmm. Sad reality is we have too many adults mm -hmm. leading our children, watch this, y'all, in the wrong direction. Right. I don't know why. Some adults think it's cute for a child to curse. Yeah. I don't know why. Some adults think it's cute for a child to show their backside and act grown. You better stop your daughters and granddaughters from doing that duck face thing. It ain't cute and it means something totally different. If they do it now as a child, they will do it as an adult and then it won't be cute. It will be a problem and they'll have an answer. Our children need proper guidance. And let me tell you right now, I know it's a hard-hitting topic, but I'll say this. On the topic of guiding and protecting our children, understand as a culture, we need to no longer be quiet on the issues about molestation and sexual assault toward our children. See, this is an issue that needs to be addressed by our families and leaders. Don't let that thing be a secret no more. Don't hide that thing under your pillow no more. Don't let that thing a monster in your closet no more. You better free yourself in the name of Jesus. Let your children know early. Don't let anybody touch your physical parts. Don't let anybody put you in a corner. Don't let anybody speak to you in the old type of way. You are not a sex object. You are not anybody's molestation toy. But you are a child of the king. If something bad happens to you, you better tell somebody. were hung around his neck uh, and he was thrown into a seat uh, that he should offend these little ones uh, and cause them to sin. Uh, you better understand this morning, uh, all of our young people, uh, you are a child of God. Uh, I don't care if your mama on drugs. Uh, I don't care if your daddy locked up. Uh, I don't care what folks said about you. Uh, I know you ain't got a million dollars, uh, but you still a child of God. Uh, I don't care what your parents I don't care if you live with grandma or auntie and them, you still a child of God. I don't care if your family jacked up and you ashamed of everybody in your family, you still a child of God. And you gotta act like a child of God. You gotta act like the gifts God gave you and make sure everybody else treats you like your daddy treats you. I'm talking about your father in heaven. If the Father in heaven knows that you're the apple of his eye, then everybody else got 